Parks. I am Tammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Disney, Universal, and Florida have to offer plus size people and people with lots of different mobility concerns. Today we're taking on one of the most challenging rides here at Animal Kingdom. It's surprisingly challenging because it kind of looks like a cross between a rickety roller coaster and a kid's carnival ride, but it actually is a little more thrilling than you might realize. Let's go check it out. Now the restraints for this ride actually are for two people. Seats on this ride are grouped in pairs and there's one lap bar for two people. When I go on this ride, I like to go by myself because I find that the two seats close together like that can be a little snug and uncomfortable. Now this ride is not the most comfortable ride here at Animal Kingdom. of a big step up to get into the vehicle, but there's plenty of stuff to hang on to to help you get in. There are two sets of two seats, so up to four people can go on this ride at one time. And as you can see, there's a big jump down to get out of this ride, but there are lots of things to hang on to to help you out. These vehicles never stop when you unload and when you load. You have to get on it while it's in motion. Now I did have a little difficulty boarding this ride while it was moving, so they stopped it for me, and I, they let me know that they will stop it for me when I got off as well. So the restraint on this. This is a lock and glide system. The restraint will lock down however far you push it down. There are no clicks. It glides down into place and stops wherever you stop pulling it down. Oh, here we go. This ride is kind of part roller coaster, <laughs> part spinning ride. Surprisingly so. There's a lot of spinning and there are a few big drops. Nothing 
huge, nothing super dramatic, but enough to give you a little bit of a thrill. Again, be mindful that that restraint will only come down as far as the largest person. And if you're sitting next to a little one, they may slide around a little bit, but you can put your arm around them and they'll be fine. I sat in the uh, set of two seats by myself and I did slide around a little bit. So I found that as I was on the ride, I kept pushing down the restraint a little bit more to lock it in a little tighter. And I was still really comfortable. I want to mention to you that there seems to be plenty of room for tall people on this ride. Lots of leg room. However, the seats are very low and it can be difficult to stand up. You're almost in a crouching position actually when you're seated on this ride. In order to more smoothly exit this ride, I scoot my booty all the way to the edge of the seat and I grabbed a hold of that metal bar in front of me and used it to pull myself to a standing position. When I stepped out, I stepped out backwards. I actually find for me that works a little better than trying to step out forward. I don't know why, but it works for me. I you to take off your mouse ears or your hat on this ride you do spin quite a bit and you may lose them although i do think this is a fun ride um i don't know it's kind of old-fashioned to me and i don't i do find it a little difficult to get off of the ride from that squatted low position so i tend to avoid it because there's so many other rides that i like a lot better in this park but i still think that if you're in good physical condition and you don't have any back problems or heart problems or neck problems and you're not pregnant, you may really enjoy this ride and think it's a lot of fun. Kids seem to just really dig it. They think it's the best thing ever. So your young kids may really love this ride. Thank you for joining me today on Prime Eagle World. I hope that you will enjoy this ride as much as I do even more. And remember, life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.